Hey everyone and welcome back to another episode of the Hypixel Pit. It has been over a year since I've made one of these and really about that long since I've really played this game too seriously. I've recently been getting back into it so I figured I'd make a video, especially because I'm about to proceed as you can see. Um, but yeah, a lot has changed in this game since I last played it. There's now the sewers, which you can get sewer rubbish, you can get the bread. I actually honestly haven't even played that much with the mystic items, but I have a few tier 3 ones here, which I really don't know how good these are at all, but um, I'm scared to use them just because of the amount of like limited lives they have. And I still have all of my good stuff from previous videos that I'm sure some of y'all have seen. It's a very popular series on my channel, actually. But yeah, my ender chest is completely stuffed full because when you prestige, you actually lose all of your inventory. And I couldn't fit this in. I didn't know, like, what I wanted to get rid of. But it says you keep it on death, so I'm willing to risk one because you need a stack of them anyway. So... I say even if I lose this, it's not that big a deal, I would rather lose just one sewer rubbish compared to anything else in here, these are all pretty valuable. Except for this uh, diamond sword which just has durability, so I figured I'd keep that, same with the weeds, those are like pretty rare items back in the day when I played, but now not so much. I also had to sacrifice my beast reward armor, but this is just regular armor with a beast reward tag. But I'd rather keep uh, the mystic stuff than this, so. Uh, unfortunately, I had to sacrifice a few things at this prestige, but I still have 85k left and I don't know what to spend it on. I do know that auctions are a thing and that's where I've gotten most of my decent like gear in there, including this feather, which is very overpowered. It protects your inventory. But anyways, I think it's about time to prestige, but before I do that, I'm going to go over to the Questmaster, because I know that that was a pretty big strategy at the time, was um, just like doing a quest and then uh, getting like almost done with it, and then prestiging and then finishing it, then you get the free money from that, because uh, money is very important when you first prestige again, so... Um, this is six players using lava, which is really tempting because it's 5,000, but I think I'm gonna go the easier route and go with just kill 15 players because, um, yeah, that's a lot easier than killing players with lava. So I'm gonna do like 13 or 14 kills of this right now, and then I will go prestige really quickly and then get straight back in and finish it up, and hopefully that will all be good. But there is an obsidian box here, and someone has a giant slime, that's interesting. Um, I got one kill though, already off to a good start. But there is a very strong guy in here, with a very high bounty, I want to stay away from him if possible. Uh, same thing with the slime, I do not want to contest that, I feel like that's very powerful. And I quit this game um, right around the time that the Mystic update happened, so I still don't even know too much about that, but that's like old basic stuff at this point so I feel like I'm very far behind in like the meta of this game and how good like mystic armor really is and all that kind of stuff and I just need five more kills get over here thank you nope this guy stole it so I'm gonna have to destroy him that's the king from the fallen kingdom it's funny and I got that guy I only need a couple more kills so I'm going to nab this one, hopefully, yeah. And then I'm going to grab this one, if possible. He's on two hearts. Actually, I'm gonna let him get away. I think I'm gonna just, like, go sacrifice myself to this guy. Because I have three minutes left with two more kills to get, so I want to have as much time as possible to get that, I feel like. But I am actually going to put up a fight with this guy, because I actually got him, holy shit, I did not expect that. Okay. Oh, my contract's completed, that's actually unfortunate, I didn't even want that to happen. So I think in that case I'm just going to go back to spawn, and that got rid of my heads, but it's alright. Um, I'm going to do another contract, and hopefully get a better one this time. Um, 
See, I would do the fishing thing, because that's the highest and probably the easiest to get, but I wouldn't have a fishing rod when I prestige, so I wouldn't be able to do that. And collecting 20 gold ingots is very painful. All of these are really bad. Uh, you know what, I'm just gonna... I think I'm gonna go with the gold one, just because if I'm actually able to get that much, then that'll be easier to finish up once I prestige. But I really doubt I'm going to be able to do this. I have a very bad history with the gold ingot um, quests. I try to avoid these as much as possible, but we're already actually up to four, so maybe they like up the rates and it's actually better. Oh, there is actually a robbery event in a few minutes. I mean, I, I guess I'll wait on the quest and just do that event really quick because I'd rather have like actual good stuff for an event like that. And obviously robbery is like the worst event for me to stay in just because obviously you get a ton of money from it and I'm trying to lose money really, but uh, I really care more about the renown than anything else and it's a lot easier for me to get it when I'm actually a higher level obviously, so I want to get the renown if possible and the event has started so uh hopefully i can do decent i'm already number three and i have a really good amount of healing so i should be able to do a lot here not if i get stuck with that guy though i want to try to get away from him yeah i might actually just move to the other side of the mosh pit away from the guy with the bounty and the giant slime and everything But I just got a shit ton of kills, holy crap. I am number two right now, actually. And I'm actually very low health, so I really don't want to choke this, but I might, to be honest. Yeah, I think I'm actually dead here. Unless I can get that guy? No. I'm just gonna run, to be honest. You know what? I'm just gonna stay away from everyone until the end of the event, honestly, because I'm number two right now, and I believe it's like top three or something for the prestige, right? I don't know, or the renown, I mean, but... Oh no, I'm dead. Damn, that actually bumped me down a lot. Okay, I need to get back into this then. The event is not going to be that easy for me, unfortunately. And I really should have bought diamond armor because now I am way farther down. That's really bad. I actually don't know how high I have to get to get the two renown. I know that the one renown is always like top 20 or something. It's not even a challenge to get, but then the extra two renown, I believe is like top three or top five or something. Something actually very difficult to get. And there's only a few seconds left, so I'm gonna try to get the last bit of money I can, but that's it, I got 7th. Unfortunate. I still did get 1 Renown though, which is not the worst thing that could have happened. Oh yeah, it was top 3 for the 2 Renown, which is... Actually, I really could have saved that if I had just stayed away from fights when I had the number 2 spot, but that's alright. I think I'm dead here. Honestly, yeah, he has the low ground. That was embarrassing, but my contract is finally over, so hopefully this one is gonna be an actual good one that I can do. Um, like, killing 10 people without any perks equipped, I'm gonna have to do that with my prestige anyway, so. So I think what I'm gonna do, right, is I'm just gonna take off all of my perks, grab some diamond armor, and just go at it, try to get 8 or 9 kills, like the last time, and then prestige. Alright, so we have 8 kills here. I'm just gonna let this guy kill me, probably. Yeah. Oh, I have 9, so I really don't want to die now. Or, get another kill, I mean. So, I'm just gonna die now, and with 3 minutes left, that's plenty of time, I think, to go ahead and prestige. So, right over here. I can purchase this, prestige 7, I have to wait a little bit, that's absolutely fine, and prestige, salmon lock prestige 7, gg, I'll hit a gg in chat as well, 
and now I'm level 1, so now I have to go down here, I have 0 gold, I need to get that last kill, and I got 2,000, perfect, perfect, and I can probably kill that guy, no, alright, that's fine, oh, I actually did keep my sewer rubbish, which was actually really good, so, I'm glad I did that, that means I probably didn't have to store all of this stuff away, which is fine, I just usually keep this on me to save space in my ender chest and because you keep it on death so it doesn't matter but uh yeah um now that i have 2000 gold i don't think i have any more quests today right oh i actually do have one more but i need to hit level 30 first to do it so i'm probably not even gonna do that but now that i have 2000 um i actually need to reach level 10 to unlock my first perk i was gonna go straight ahead and buy uh, golden heads with this money, but I'll get to level 10 really quick. That literally takes like 10 kills. It's absolutely nothing. Oh, everyone gets a bounty, and I'm pretty sure I just lost mine. Yeah, so that was not great. But like I said, I just got two kills and instantly leveled up two levels. It's really not hard at all to get your first... I would say your first, like, 70 levels, to be honest. It's really not that much compared to the rest of them. Because each level obviously goes up higher each time. And I just got that snipe? That was insane. Did you see that? That was like some phase shit. Honestly, Parallel Machi, more like Parallel Sam, am I right? Like... I feel like that should go in a montage or something. But anyway, I just hit level 10, just like that. So now, once I inevitably die, because I have nothing, um, I'm going to go over to my upgrades. I have my first perk slot, and I can already buy golden heads. There we go. And I still have 1800 left, so once I hit level 35, which again, will not take like any time at all, I can grab another perk which will probably be just like strength or something. Usually my setup is to use like dirty and first strike and then either strength or overheal with that, but these are really higher level perks. But anyway, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. We prestiged in this episode and did a, did a couple um, events. So if you enjoyed this episode of The Pit and wanna see more pit content on this channel, as I'm sure some people do because my pit videos from a year ago that were absolutely awful still get tons of views. So, um, yeah, if you are interested in that, definitely let me know by leaving a like or commenting. And yeah, um, I think that's really about it. So, uh, I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.